Islam, O oh, alaikum, welcome brothers and sisters. Hope you all are well. Today I have brought a sentence for you, whose name is Accepted Islam. This was at a time when the religion of Islam was in its infancy and the Holy Prophet. The Holy Prophet Ba was full of good manners in spreading the light of religion everywhere. He was trying in those days, he prayed before Allah Ta'ala. God, may Umar ibn Kadab enlighten the heart with the light of Islam and then the time came. Hazrat Umar ibn Khattab R.A. became rich with the wealth of Islam. Mr. Farooq, the acceptance of Islam by Azam gave great strength to the Muslims. You were very brave and courageous. Till that time the number of Muslims was very small and they used to pay their prayers in secret when Hazrat Umar Farooq accepted Islam, after him Hazrat Nabi Karim. He was present at the service of Actus and said, O Messenger of Allah, when our religion is true and polytheists are on falsehood, then why should we keep our religion hidden? Lot and Uzi are worshipped openly and we worship our Allah in secret. Why do it? By the Lord Kaaba, we will also worship Allah Almighty. I swear by this holy person who sent you with the true religion. Yes, I can never leave that assembly in which I did not sit for the help of disbelief but now I will definitely sit for the expression and support of the religion of Islam. After that, from the shrine of Hazrat Umar Farooq and Hazrat Nabi Karim, he left and came to the house of Kaaba and looked at the disbelievers with a loud voice. People said it. The one who knows me knows well and the one who doesn't know me, it should be that I am Umar bin Khattab. O people of Quraysh, accept Islam and be quick to obey Muhammad Muslim or else I will kill you with this sword. I will blow off the necks and not leave a single unbeliever alive when the infidels heard this voice of Hazrat Umar Farooq Are, they thought it was safe to remain silent. One of them dared to ask, O oh, Umarhal, have you accepted the religion of Muhammad? Hazrat Umar replied that, Yes, I have read the word Islam. Hearing this, the disbelievers were very disappointed and among themselves, they began to consult about what happened. Hazrat Umar Raqqaba, did you circumambulate? He was circumambulating around the Kaaba and reciting the word of Tayyaba in a loud voice. They used to recite verses too. Seeing this, the disbelievers became very angry and finally they, they gathered courage and attacked Hazrat Umar. Hazrat Umar still towards him. If they were not attracted, the infidels fled. Hazrat Umar Farooq captured one of the biggest infidels. He dropped him on the ground and sat on his chest with his fingers. Put in eyes. He screamed so loudly that an unbeliever came forward. He could not dare to grow. He was crying. People, help me, Omar kill me, we'll give. So Hazrat Umar left this person with great difficulty. All, the polytheists fled. After that, the Muslims worshipped in the Kaaba, Hazrat Umar. The Holy Prophet Ba appeared in Al-Aqdis and asked, Or Messenger, by Allah, there has not been any assembly in which I have not declared the true religion. Hearing this, the Holy Prophet peace and blessings of Allah be upon him expressed his happiness and left for the Kaaba. Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq said on the right, Hazrat Hamza then on the left, Hazrat Ali. In front and in front of Hazrat Ali R.A. was Hazrat Umar Farooq R.A. All hands. I had bare swords and all the other Muslims lined up behind the Holy Prophet. They were walking. When the Holy Prophet reached the Kaaba, the team performed to rakets, prayed. According to a tradition, Zor prayer was performed. Hazrat Soheb bin Sinan R.A. says that we are Hazrat Umar Farooq. Before acceptance of Islam, they could not take revenge on those who caused pain. It comes in traditions. It is the day on which Hazrat Omar accepted Islam. The religion of Islam set the milestones of development and never again did Muslims face disgrace. Allah Hafiz. If you liked our video then please subscribe and press the bell icon. Thank you.